Hello, so we are back. I will say Happy New Year. And this, it's a Temu video review. So I pick up some interesting items, useful items, and we're going to review them. So we have a professional um, nail drill. We need something like that when we are digging inside of the boards, when we have burn layers. We have a DIY kit. This is great for beginners. Then we have... It's not a power supply, but kind of like a power supply. With this kind of device, we can uh, modify any power supply, any transformer. You have any source of power, uh, we can transform in a, in a power supply, so we can adjust the current and the voltage. Then we have a thermal camera. I know, a thermal camera is always useful. Now, before we are starting, yeah? Have a look on the Temu Web website, see what you like, maybe you like more products. But anyway, for new users, just use the link on the description. You create an account on your phone and you can have these items discounted. Also, you can use the code from the screen. You just go and type the code on the search bar, Temu search bar here. And you can redeem a hundred pounds coupon. Of course, you can apply that coupon to whatever you want to buy from Temo. Now, we are starting 2026, and uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, they need good tools. And when I'm saying good tools, it's not about I don't have a drill for the motherboard, but I'm looking for something better, and I'm going to show you why. I will say, let's uh, start the review, and let's check these items. Now, first, rechargeable professional nail drill. Yeah, let's see. I was looking for something more professional when it's about motherboard drill, yeah? And I'm going to show you why. This is my old one. And it's working fine. Check here. You can see. Yeah. The problem is, um, if you check here, yeah, pay attention. Just to understand the difference between a professional tool and a normal tool, this one is moving up and down, you can see. This is not precise, yeah? You don't want something like that. You want a, you know, precise control of the drill. That's why I pick up this drill. Rechargeable, so you can, uh, you know, you can use it without being plugged. Then we have a flexible thing, yeah? Good. Pressing the power button and the device it is coming on. Yeah, let me let me use one of these. So I'm a lot more interested on precision. Uh, you know, just ignoring the RPM and all that kind of stuff. Taking out this one. This one is there. Good. And that's all. That's all. Now you can't take it out. You can see. Now, if you try to do the same thing with this one, it's not moving up and down, you can see. Yeah. Yeah, from here, the precision is coming. Now, let's try to do some work. We have the RPM. Not sure if you can hear. 45K RPM. Let me grab the microscope. And let's say you have some sensitive job like drilling a track precise right yeah perfect the idea is you need control because you don't want to break the track i mean it's very easy to drill through the track, then you have a broken track. So here we just got the paint out, you can see it. Yeah, that's all what you want. Then if you have something, let's say you want to, you need to drill inside of the board, if you have burn layers, yeah, burn layers, you have to drill inside of the board. Like here, yeah.
let's clean it cleaning and you can see every layer you can see it so that's why you want like a precise tool when it's about drilling inside of the motherboard so what do you think it is cool it is and has a lot of bits uh, you can use a different end uh, depends uh, what you are doing then we have some uh, tone based different kind of job different kind of tips i'll be honest with you this indeed it is a sponsorized video but i'm picking up what i want yeah the tools which uh, i believe i will gonna use in the future so uh I seen uh, someone post a video about this and I said I will get it. Now the quick release thingy, you just spin this and you can replace, then lock back and that's all. That's all what you have to do. And then you only press play. That's all. Not sure if you can hear it spinning. Yeah. Again RPM and all that kind of stuff and yeah. Pressing one more time, yeah, stopping. Proper useful tool, you have to admit it. One more time, check the link on the description. You have the price, the old price and the new price uh, on the screen. And you can uh, create uh, an account if you are a new user and you can buy this discounted. Now the next item on the list, let's check together. Because I see people interested to, you know, manufacture their own power supply. So we have a thingy, yeah? I will say, let's plug some power and see what he's doing. I mean, check here, yeah? Proper quality one. And also you have a fan here. So this is a regulator. You can adjust the current and the voltage. We have V in and out. Let's screw this. Yeah, so we have plus and we have minus. The fan try to spin, but then stop. Probably spinning only when it's uh, hot. When it's getting hot. And now, we have a nice meter, right? So what we can adjust? Okay. Well, I didn't expect this. This is more complicated than I thought. Uh, let's try some basic stuff. So on off first, pressing uh, on, and we have like five volts, and now we can change the voltage. Check that. So if you have like a transformer, if you have like a, I don't know, your scooter uh, power adapter, which is like 24 volts, or whatever you have, you can easily, with this um, regulator, you can uh, set up a power supply, like adjustable power supply. Let me try to set up the current. So we have 5 amps right now. I, yeah, I think the max on this one is like 5 amps. Let's try to see if there is any short circuit protection. Huh? And shorting the output. Check there. Check there. I'm outputting 5 amps, you can see. So it's not, uh, it's not uh, a short circuit protection there. You don't want a short circuit protection when you try to push current. Uh, changing the current, we want 5 amps, 4, 3, 2 amps. Let's say 2 amps. 2 amps. And check that we have 2 amps. Huh? Then we want uh, 4 amps. Let's say 4 amps. Huh? So what do you think? It's not useful because I seen, I seen even on Discord, people are looking to DIY their own power supply. And this kind of tool, it's, you know, it just connect a transformer, like, you know, with a rectifier bridge and a capacitor, and you have a power supply with this device. And more than that, you have a fan. Hmm? So what, uh, what do we have to do to enable the fan? We have to draw more current, right? Yeah, I think. Five amps, good. And let's try to heat up this, uh, this power supply. So we have five amps at the output right now. We have 0 0.7 volts. Why we have 0 0.7? 
because of the resistance of this one. It's getting hot, I can't believe. If I try a different tweezer, 0.4 volts, check there. So this tweezer, yeah, I can feel it is getting hot on the, yeah, and the fan is spinning. Not sure if you can hear the fan. Check there. You can hear the fan? Yeah, the fan is spinning. And you will say, I know there are people there say, yes, and we're switching. You yeah, forget about switching, yeah? This doesn't have a short circuit protection. So you can push how much current you want. One more time, check the link on the description, you know, create an account. You can buy this discounted. You have the old price and the new price on the screen and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. The next one on the list, this is special for beginners and this is proper fun. That's why I always pick up DIY kits. Remember Diana always was building the DIY stuff? But today Diana is busy, so I think I will do it. So what do we have here? We have some kind of like sound intensity meter or whatever you want to like a gaming light. You have a microphone and probably the LEDs are uh, one after the other based on the volume from the microphone. Now let's do it. It's quite simple. It's not that complicated. Still, I don't understand why. Yes, we have a socket, but why we should use a socket? I don't understand. You don't have another chip. So I would say let's solder the chip straight on the board. Now, if you ask me from my personal experience, I will say avoiding that kind of sockets, it's a good thing. And the chip is inside. Let's solder the chip quickly. No, you don't really need flux. You can use flux if you want. But you can um, you can do it without flux. All you have to do is to keep the solder wire close um, to the board so the flux is not getting evaporated. That's all what you have to do. Just want to be sure it's on the frame. And it can go very fast when it's about soldering. I'm not that fast anymore, getting older. But yeah, I can still do it slowly. Perfect. What do you think? Huh? Great. So the chip it is solder. Let me fast forward uh, the soldering job. All done. So everything in some place. You can check my work. And no flux has been used here. You know, solder wire uh, has flux inside. I'm just saying because some people avoid doing soldering because they don't have fl the right flux and they don't know which is the right flux. Okay, let's test it together. And what is supposed to happen? One, one, it's working. Oh, my camera is, ge is getting crazy. Yeah, it's proper strong. The light is proper strong. Yeah, from here is better. One, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's working. I can't believe it's working. And our multicolor LEDs. I can see red, green, blue. Can be useful if you look for something voice activated. Yeah. I mean, very easily instead of a LED, you can connect a relay and do something else. But definitely a very interesting project for, uh, you know, DIY. Especially for beginners, yeah, soldering and all that kind of stuff. Uh, one more time, check the link in the description and you can buy it discounted. Now, the next item I want to review is the thermal camera. And everyone needs a thermal camera, especially on this, uh, this business. And it's not necessary to be like the repair business. It's about electronics, uh, generally speaking. Even if it's like DIY or industrial electronics or repairs or whatever, you need a thermal camera. 
Now this particular camera is UT260B, but also you have 260A. And it's not such a big difference. I mean, just the temperature range, this one, the, the A version is up to 400 degrees, which is more than enough, and 260B, it's up to 550 degrees. But, you know, same sensor, same resolution, same everything. Opening the camera, and inside we have the manual, we have the charging cable, and the camera itself. We have a nice sensor, and also we have a video camera there. Pressing the power button, and the camera it is coming on. I didn't check the camera before, so we're gonna see together how it's performing. And the camera, it's on. So what do you think about uh, the quality? Sensitivity? Yeah, you can still see the thermal from my fingers. Let's grab a motherboard and see what we can see. You know what? You know what? Here is a difference between this camera and what I'm seeing here. Uh, probably because of the camera dynamic range, you just see a yellow thing. I see shades of the yellow on uh, actually the camera. Let me grab a motherboard. So here we have a motherboard. Not sure what's the story with the motherboard. I uh, received the motherboard from a customer. Trying to powering up the board. I'm not sure if the board is working, but we should be able to diagnose the board using the thermal camera. So on the board, I believe this is the charging port. We have a fuse, we have a diode here, and the board is starting, I can't believe. Let me bring the power supply on the screen. We have the power supply coming with current. And check there, the board is starting. You can see the CPU there. So the focus range is from about 10 centimeters. If you go closer, check there. I mean, you can still see, but the things are getting fuzzy. So the best sharpness, it's about 10 centimeters on the board. Then of course you can go far and it's even sharper. You can see the RAM chips, they are getting power. You can see the color is slightly different. So I know the RAM memory has power. Check here, even the EC chip, you can see the EC chip, you can see like slightly warm. You can see it actually the, 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 the EC chip is working. And there we have an IC, which again is getting warm. Not only one, are more I, uh, ICs which they are getting warm. So you can, you can see that the resolution is quite decent. I mean, you can see every component from the motherboard. A proper decent camera, 256192, the resolution. Uh, 25 Hertz, the refresh rate. And you can see the resolution here and the uh, temperature range. Now, in order to buy this camera, you have to be a new app user. And also you have to search the code, which is here on the screen. You write the code on the search box, you press search, and you apply the discount coupon. I'm going to stop here. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the video. I'm going to say thank you for watching. Check the link one more time, and see you on the next one. Bye.